guys, DV here. Sorry it's been so long since my last video tutorial, but I've been overwhelmed with work and um, just doing a bunch of different stuff, so I haven't really had a chance to upload a whole lot of videos, but I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to work on uploading this week and next week, and uh, my website is almost done for dvtutorials.com. So um, in the meantime, I got a message from one of my YouTube subscribers who requested that I did a tutorial on importing sound files into Lightworks. So that's what we're going to do today. We already have an import uh, media tutorial, which was our first part of our in-depth Lightworks series. However, this user had wanted to have a more um, detailed uh, sound importing tutorial. So here we are. When you first start your new project, we've called this one Import Sound is the name of our project. You get this window that pops up with some different information about details for your project, your video, audio, film, and miscellaneous. Now, by default, the window opens to either the Details tab or the Video tab. Today, we're interested in the Audio tab. Basically, what you want to do is, if you already know which audio files you're going to be importing, say from your microphone or from your camera, you want to go ahead and set these audio settings to match what your source files look like. So you can change the rate depending on what you're importing, which codecs you have installed, and you can change the soft cut durations, normalization, stuff like that. I'm going to leave this at the default, and I'm just going to close that for now. Now I'm going to go over to the toolbox on the left hand side of the screen, and I'm going to select import. Then I'm going to locate my destination folder or hard drive, which in this case my files are on the desktop, and then I'm going to scroll through and locate what I'm looking for. Um, here it is. And I'm going to select some of my files to import. Now, Lightworks can import um, a bunch of different audio file types, such as MP3 format, WAV, AAC, and MPA. There's a whole bunch of other ones supported, and there's a whole list of them available on the Edit Share Lightworks website. Now, if for some reason you're unable to import some of these different file types, you want to go ahead and download the Matrox VFW Codex from Edit Share, and this will allow you to import different video and audio types, as well as other uh, file formats into the Lightworks program. So once you've selected the files that you want to import, go ahead and click on OK, and it's going to open up a box uh, like your import box. You can either add more files, just like you would with some video files, or you can remove files that you don't want. This is going to be your destination drive or folder, whatever, um, for where they're going to have like the reference to those files created. And you can delete that when you're finished with the project or whatever. So once you've selected um, frame rates, formats, whatever um, that you need to, just go ahead and click on Start, and it's going to begin importing the files. And here we go. So we have a sound file here. We have silver white there, and we have this other sound file, which isn't really coming out. There we go. So we can go ahead and close the import window, and then we have our sound file available here. If we open up a new edit, we can drag that, we can drag this onto the timeline, and we can play it back as well. So that's pretty cool, and that's basically how you import sound files into the program. So if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment or send us a message. And we're getting the website up soon. There's going to be more details on that. And our Frozen Contingency trailer is going to be released probably next week, early next week. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.